The Breville PolyScience Anti-Griddle is a really unique piece of equipment, and today we're going to show you what it is and how to use it. And today on WTF, we're going to show you three on-demand garnishes for an Apple Voulevant. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we transform food here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Scott Guerin. And I'm Janie Wang, one of the owners of Modernist Pantry. And here on WTF every Tuesday, we're going to talk about unique ingredients, cooking techniques, equipment, and give you recipes to get started in your own kitchen. So remember to subscribe and ring the bell, and you'll get notified of our content. It does come out every single Tuesday. And this week, we're going to be talking about a really unique piece of equipment. It's the Breville PolyScience Anti-Griddle. And uh, if you're like me, I've never heard of what an anti-griddle was before we started selling them, and they are amazing. So I can't wait for Scott to show you exactly what it does, and of course, we're going to do a really fun demo. So I think, Scott, maybe let's just start with the basics, basics of what is an anti-griddle. So an anti-griddle is just that. It is the opposite of a griddle. Where a griddle gets very hot, an anti-griddle will get very cold. So this gets down to about negative 30 degrees, so you can make a lot of garnishes and, and ice creams and things like that in a very quick amount of time, uh, almost a la minute. So if I'm gonna be making what I'm gonna make today, uh, I can make this in just a matter of minutes to make an entire plate. Yeah, and what are some of the kind of things that people might wanna make with them? Because this is obviously, um, you know, a pretty unique specialized piece of equipment. It is an investment, well, you know, how is it gonna help a chef in the kitchen. So we can do a lot of cool things and I can actually start off with one really quick demo okay. just to show you. So uh, there is a, a cover that comes with this so it'll prevent the condensation just we did it for uh, the filming here that we didn't throw the cover on top. So if you get a little bit of condensation just kind of scrape it off there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you a quick little pudding pop. So I have a little bit of pudding here and I'm just going to put it in a nice circle and then stick a little popsicle stick in it or a little uh, lollipop stick in it and in less than a minute I can just give this a quick flip and it'll be ready to serve so whenever you're making something or you want to make something that's quick and frozen uh, you can either put this on a cart and then you know bring it around the dining room you can you know dress it up really nice and then make things in front of people or if you're just making something that is specific for a dish you can make it very quick uh, without having to take up a lot of real estate inside refrigerators and other things like that nice. so it, so it's a really kind of cool piece of equipment to work with is that generally everything's hot in the kitchen but this is cold and we can make things cold just like we would on a griddle yeah so don't touch that surface with your <laughs> no. bare hands no right? don't touch okay. that surface with bare hands definitely don't touch it with any uh, wet hands or anything like that okay. always use tools and things so you're not making direct contact with it because it will you know give you freezer but just like uh, a griddle you don't want to touch a hot griddle you don't want to touch a cold anti-griddle there you go. So I think pretty simple in concept, but like a really cool idea for different things that you can do. Yep. So what else are we going to be doing today? So we're actually going to make uh, an entire uh, dessert. And I'm going to show you right now. I can already flip this. Ooh. See how quick that is. Right. So I'm going to make an entire dessert and the three garnishes uh, that I'm making for it. One of them is an ice cream. One of them is uh, like a Dippin' Dots style sorbet. And then one of them is like a, a quick frozen apple carpaccio. Nice. And all three of those are going to be done in less than a few minutes, all for an entire dish. So if you were plating a dish or you're making a dish at, at a restaurant, or say you even wanted one of these for your own home, you can make some really cool stuff, really impressive stuff in a very short amount of time. So I'll be able okay. to make three specific garnishes for a dish in the amount of time it takes to you know, normally build and sell a, uh, a type of dessert. So we should probably get into that just so we can show it. So what we made here is just a little bit of puff pastry and this is called a voulevant. So this is two layers of puff pastry. One has a, a hole cut in the center and as it rises, uh, you'll see a little you know, indentation and then you press it down and you have this nice little vessel for whatever you're making. Nice. Now, we love curds here, so we've made a pistachio curd. Obviously, lemon curd is the thing that we, you know, is commonly made. But we wanted to make it with some really nice fresh apples that we found. Mm. And you can use any apple for this. We used uh, a, a local apple for this. And we replaced all of the pistachio in our pistachio curd. And we get, added some really nice apple flavor to this. And you can put it right in here. And this uses our uh, Perfecta Gel uh, gelatin to make it a really nice... Uh, right texture. Here. So yeah, we use, use okay. the bronze for this just because you don't necessarily need anything too intense like a, uh, a platinum. 
So here you go, Janie. Oh, you got a nice. nice little put and pop, but it's already ready made to go. Mm, it's good. It is good, right? Mm. So it's very simple, simple recipes like that. Mm -hmm. So I have the base of my dessert ready, so I'm going to come here and I'm just going to clean this off. So it's incredibly humid here in Maine right now, <laughs> so that's why this is necessary. But it's not necessary all the time. Not necessarily all the time. It's mm -hmm. just, and if you have the cover on, it really prevents a lot of this, this uh, kind of condensation buildup. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it just doesn't, it's not feasible for doing it on video. So we should take this off. Mm -hmm. Act like a Zamboni for a second. Mm -hmm. It is a very delicious pudding pop. Yum. See, and it's something that's fun that you can do as just like a nice little, you know, quick dessert or quick uh, course that you can sell. Mm -hmm. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down uh, some dots. So I have just our perfect caviar maker, or rapid caviar maker, excuse me. <coughs> and in here we have a, a green apple sorbet. So if I'm just going to come over here, just give it a quick little plunge. And I make nice little dots across the whole thing. And it's fine if a few of them stick together. Mm -hmm. They're all going to end up like a kind of a snow on top of the, the dish. Fun. Yep. And then on the right side, I want to take three little bits of charred apples. So I took some apples and I charred them really hard in the, in the very hot oven. So you just place them in there in a cast iron pan and you cook them until they're charred on the outside. You can peel the skins off and you have this nice roasted apple underneath. And I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to spread it out over this. Right? Mm -hmm. And in just a few seconds, I'll have these beautiful frozen pieces of apple Ooh. carpaccio. Then right up the center here, I have some uh, atomic fireball style ice cream. So we took our ice cream base, we added some, uh, you know, some cinnamon candies to it. We had a little bit of fireball uh, whiskey to it. So we made a nice, beautiful fireball ice cream. It's got a great color. And I can pour it right up the middle here. And what I want to do with this these two can kind of freeze for as long as I want them to. But the ice cream, I'm going to spread out just a little bit. Bring it back. Now I keep an eye on this ice cream because the way the coils run in here to cool it off is they run uh, either a zigzag or a spiral pattern and you'll see them start to freeze through this. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to freeze this solid because what I want to do is actually make a rolled ice cream. Ooh. Okay. Right? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to let this go and I can see them start to come. So I'm going to get off my, my carpaccio. Right? And I start plating it around the edge of my voulevant. And as this melts, it'll start kind of drape over the sides. Mm -hmm. Right? And I can see those dots are totally solid too. The dots are solid, yeah. So I lay that, mm -hmm. and then I come here, and I start rolling my ice cream. Okay. So you just lift it up. You may need two. Ooh. So you make a nice little rolled ice cream. Nice little garnish. Different way to do ice cream, obviously. And we use uh, perfect ice cream inside this. Actually, I'm going to hold it up here and get this. If I sit this right on top. Oh, that's so neat. Mm -hmm. And now, just clean my spatula a little bit. And I come over and I get off my, my little dip and dot. And you can kind of see this entire video on yep. YouTube or on Instagram. So we're going to have it up depending on what time you're looking at this video. It's probably already up. <laughs> you can kind of see all this whole process from start to finish as well. Yeah. So this is for you. Okay. And then I'm just going to lift these onto my spatula. get off any extra ones and then you can put them over just like snow and these will melt relatively quick okay. usually stay on top a little bit better but hmm. 
It's always when you're doing a live, right? Yeah. So are these going to melt into... They'll melt into almost like a little sauce. Mm. So they have some really nice green apple flavor. They really do. Oh, so yeah. good. Mm -hmm. So they'll melt like a little sauce. And if you wanted to dig into it, Jane, you absolutely could. All right. I'm going to destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. So cut all the way down through and you can get all the flavors. Okay. I have now sm totally smushed it. <laughs> I, I want to try to get like a little bit of everything, so I apologize for destroying this It's okay. Dish. We have the means to make more. All right. Mmm. It tastes really good. So it's almost like an apple pie reimagined. Mm -hmm. Different types of apple, different type of flavors that go with apple pie. You know, the roastiness, you get the, the uh, cinnamon in there, but it's just done differently. And you get a nice fresh apple as well as... Uh, something like the apple curd, which has, you know, eggs and butter in it, so it's kind of creamy, almost mm -hmm. like a la mode. Yeah, and the, uh, the ice cream that's rolled, like, it has a totally different texture. Mm -hmm. Super good. So, I'm probably going to eat this since I already destroyed it. <laughs> but, hopefully what we've shown you today is, number one, what is an anti-griddle, if you've never heard of one or seen one in action before. Definitely check it out. There are other, peop other people's videos online where they do all kinds of different recipes, so we wanted to do one of our own. But this is a really fun, uh, really unique piece of equipment to check out if you haven't already. And as always, recipes you see today will be in the links in the description below. And if you do have any questions, comments, suggestions of what you want to see in the future, remember to leave us your comments, and uh, we do read all of them. So from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie Way. And I'm Scott Guerin. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notified when we drop a new video. To get today's recipes and all of our recipes, remember to go to blog.modernistpantry.com where you get recipes, ask a chefs, tips and tricks, and more. And if you haven't already, tell a friend so they know what's going on here at WTF. And as always, to get any of the ingredients you saw today, you can go to modernistpantry.com to shop. And until next time, We'll be here in the test kitchen, helping you create memorable and magical experiences.